One ThinkPad Z61T, mint condition, dual booting with Windows, not Windows 7, yeah, I wish. A full install of Linux Mint Debian Edition 32-bit, no problems doing the install, it works great. If you're looking to revive an older machine, LMDE, Linux Mint Debian Edition, might be something to take a look at based off of Debian Stable. The usual panel here at the top with some shortcuts including sound settings. I did install two applets from the web. The weather applet works terrific. The screen recorder app unfortunately does not. So I had to install simple screen recorder. Not a big deal. You can right click and make some more adjustments to the panel if you wish. Including the size of it. There is simple screen recorder. Uh, recorder, no problem installing this from the Synaptic Package Manager. This has the very easy to use uh, Nemo file manager, as you see here, to saving my video with simple screen recorder. I did change the default color from that ugly medium green to teal. I think it looks better. It's the start menu or start button with the usual favorites to the left, including Firefox and the software manager and some others. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the categories. There is a search tab bar at the top. The internet category with Firefox, of course, and the terrific Thunderbird email client. I use it both for Linux and Windows. Office, we have the LibreOffice suite. We have sound and video. Here I would probably install VLC to make this complete administration. Let's go ahead and take a look at the system monitor. How much RAM are we using? We are using 1.1 gigs with the recorder is not too bad, actually. It was responsive. Preferences, you have the ability to add desk lits to the desktop and make it as cluttered as you want. Not too much to choose by default, but you can download many more off the web. So overall, I give this Linux Mint Debian Edition full install on a ThinkPad 32-bit. I give this an A+. I ran into no issues whatsoever. Ran a full update. It runs smoothly. Check out. LMDE 32-bit edition.